Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Um, so I realized I have uh, gained about five subscribers in the past week, which is a good amount for it only being a week. Um, so I decided for all those new subscribers that um, I would do a like things to know about me video because I realized I never really done a video like that before. Um, so now I'm doing it. Uh, so these are five things about me. Yeah. I have a good personality. By that I mean, um, like, I'm a pretty funny guy, I would think. As I say that, I can't think of- Whoa, hold up. Uh, we gotta add some royalty for me to you're funny to say right now. But, around a group of people, I'm pretty funny. Like, if you've seen some videos before. If I say something that you might find a little bit mean, don't take too much offense to that because it might just be a joke. <laughs> and that's another thing. Um, I have a uh, interesting sense of humor that um, other people don't. So some people don't really understand my. Um, and that's why people are like you. Some people are like you because they don't understand my sense of humor. I have a very creative. I have done many things even when I was like five. I used to uh, make stories and everything like that. I wrote, I, and I write, I write music. Oh, number three, I make music. <laughs> I guess that would be number three. My new album is coming out July 12th of this year um, on a Friday. That is on a Friday. Um, really excited about that. Um, and I hope you are excited about that too. Uh, but yeah, I, um, make music. I wrote my first real song. It's, it was it's called Story. I wrote my first, that was my first real song. I wrote it when I was about 12 and I play piano. I'm a pretty compassionate and caring person, and overall just down to earth. I um, I'm pretty honest most of the time. Well, why is Mel fighting me? I like the music. She gave them with my feet. I like the music. I gave them with my feet. Number four, I um. Also write stories um, and make uh, like series on my channel. Uh, right now, um, I'm currently actually well, not currently. I'm not really uh, starting it quite yet, but pretty soon, probably um, after the album releases and after all the album stuff is done, I'm gonna start working on uh, season four of Vlogmas because uh, that's coming up uh, in December, the fourth season. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I announced it. I think at the beginning of the year. I'm renewing it. I like how I say I'm renewing. It's, it's like, it sounds very official. I'm renewing it. I'm renewing my own show um, for three more seasons. So it's going to go all the way to season six. And some people are like, how are you going to do that? H how do you know that you're going to not run out of ideas? And I'm like, because I have all the ideas. I know what's going to happen for the next three seasons. It's all of here. A completely different series that's going to be in the summer of 2020. So this summer, we got the album. Next summer, we're gonna get a series that's not vlogging. This is something completely different. I think you, I think you guys are gonna are gonna like it. Five, five. Hello. Um, some of my interests uh, are well. I'm really into the band Twenty One Pilots. Is whoop. I uh, have a poster of the drummer, of the singer standing on the piano, and the drummer doing a backflip off the piano. I'm into a series called My Virtual Escape. It's a pretty, not very well known series. Um. 
It's on YouTube. I highly suggest you watch it. It's really good. It's called My Virtual Escape. Um, not really safe for work. Um, a lot is wearing a lot of violence. It's a good story, but not the most PG stuff in it. Oh, look, there's a postman. He can't see me waving. Um, so, <laughs> I'm also a Whovian. I'm in the Doctor Who. Um, I kind of don't watch it as much now as I used to, but um, I still watch it every now and then. I saw 21 Pilots in October uh, when they came to Chicago. I live in Chicago. They, when they came to Chicago, I saw them. Um, they were really good. Uh, they burned a car on stage. That's the first thing. Uh, they um, they did flips off the piano, like you're seeing in that. Um, they so they and they, they do this one thing in the show where they take the drummer's drum set, they put it on a platform, um, and they put the platform over the mosh pit, and all the, the crowd holds the platform. That's holding the drum set. That's holding the drummer, and he drums on the crowd. It's really. It sounds really like a really weird idea and like hard to believe, but yeah. Um, I want to become a. I want to be making music for a living. You know, when I graduate high school, I'm a freshman. I want to. Uh, well, I'm a summer, so I'm gonna be a sophomore. Uh, anyway, when I graduate, I want to just be making music, and um, my shows, my shows, my live shows. They are gonna be something else. Um, I'm gonna. I would do so many crazy things in my live shows. There's this one crazy idea that I've always had. Of like, so um. Of it's really hard to explain. So flying over the crowd, right? I'm attached to a cable. And I'm like kind of standing up, and I'm flying over the crowd as I'm attached to the cable. And a drum set is also attached to a cable. And I'm playing the drums while flying over the crowd with the drum set. And each individual drum would be attached to a cable. And whoever would be controlling the cables would be, you know, swinging them around me, the drums around me as I play them. I hope that makes sense. I feel like it doesn't. And another thing I would do is I would go out into the crowd a lot. And I would just make it a really good experience. Um, yeah. I'm actually recording this like four or five hours after uh, all everything that you just saw. Uh, because I realized... I forgot to end the video. So this is me ending the video. This has been me ending the video. See you next time. Alright, bye everyone.